makes me look fat all the time. Well, that's where you get for eating so many Chipotle burritos. And you eat them whole at the same time. You eat half there and then half later. No, the serving size is one burrito. Those burritos are like this big. Yeah. That's the size of like a dick. You're practically <laughs> eating a dick whole. Mm, mm, mm. And you eat, it like in, you eat it like in four bites too. Like I was watching you <laughs> and it was gone. And then me and Brie still had like so much food left. Food Brie take forever to eat. Especially Brie. Brie yeah. takes days to eat the burritos. Well, I, I never, I, I get the bowl. I never finish the bowl like in one The bowl is like sitting. way bigger than the burrito. Oh, it's so big. The burrito is like, the, the bowl is like two burritos. But what things, <laughs> first things first, I'm never eating at Chipotle again. What? Never ever again. I got food poisoning. I'm so <laughs> sick. Like I was pooping and throwing up all morning. <laughs> Maybe it's something else you ate. Um, All I had to eat yesterday was mangoes, dick, and um, <laughs> the Chipotle. Maybe it was your nasty ass John juice. That thing. was really good. It was not nasty. I'm sorry. I'm healthier than you. Maybe it was the ghost stories that you were telling last night, and the ghost came to life and haunted your intestines. I was so scared. I got so scared. I slept with the closet light on. You were so scared that you pooped all the poops oh, and dry heaved all the dry. I legit heaves. felt like I was getting stabbed. I was like, <laughs> if something. If I get, did I get stabbed while I was asleep? Just go stabbing me. <laughs> I've eaten eight burritos this month, and not once have I got food for um, I had sofritas, so that's what I get for being vegetarian. They want to kill vegetarian. Chipotle wants to kill vegetarians. That's what I'm convinced How do you get do. food poisoning from something that can't poison you? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it was the chips. The chips is maybe, maybe it's because they sat there all day, because nobody gets the fucking sofritas because yeah, they're gross. That. They're good. Bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they're good. Well, hey guys, welcome <laughs> to our podcast, Seriously Sidetrack. Yep, let's go with the theme song. <laughs> sidetracked, sidetracked, side seriously yeah, sidetracked. Side do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying, we need to record this, we need to sit down and record this. Um, we record it every week. No, but like, I actually like record it so we can like, just press the button when it comes to like more of like the podcast version, the audio mm-hmm. version, you know? Mm-hmm. I think the joy is us singing it every week though. Um, when it comes to me and singing, I never get joy in the same word. It's more like, please stop or please call me. Please stop singing. Yep. So, I've eaten eight burritos this month. That's so bad. And, and all in one 14th. sitting, in like four bites. It's the 14th. I was going to eat one every three days, and I am eating them like... One each a day. More than once every two days. More than once a two days? Every two days. It's like... Yeah, because it's the 14th and I'm at 8. So divide that by 2, I should be at 7. You're so I gross was eating them every two days. Well, last week at work, it was like super easy to eat them at lunch. Well, oh, you work. like work like right down from the Super Bowl And it's, I don't know, not cheaper than the chicken tenders, but probably healthier than the chicken tenders. Healthier when you eat the whole thing. That's not healthy. <laughs> well, it's healthier than the chicken. Well, the chicken tenders, we just got, like, giant new ones. The gross ones? Yeah. yeah so I've had one. I was like, no. The f- they are good when they come right, right out of the fire. Yeah. The one in That's Cabby the only sucks. times that I'll buy them. Yeah, the for married Cabby is so bad. It's, like, <laughs> fucking shit. I had some lady come in, and she's like, ooh, the- I like the chicken tenders at Safeway a lot better, Mike. Bitch, no. <laughs> Bitch, no. Our chicken tenders kick the shit out of Safeway. I think I like the Jojo's better from Safeway. Yeah. Because they're like season more. Yeah, a ton more seasoning. Yeah. Like, they're like orange. Mm-hmm. Like, Donald Trump. But I've never, like, had the, like, Safeway stuff, like, fresh, fresh. Oh. It's always, like, nasty old I, I whenever I've bought it. Yeah. Well, when I first moved here, I ate a lot of Safeway deli food because it was, like, down the street from the, the goose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. haven't... But I, like, I think I... Just started shopping at Fred Meyer's when I moved mm-hmm. to the Merc. Yeah. I mean, the chicken tenders at Safeway aren't bad. It's not bad. But I do agree. I thought the chicken tenders used to be better at Fred Meyer's, but yeah. new ones kind of suck. When I tasted them at Fred Meyer's, I'm like, holy shit, this is so good. Why did I never buy this before? So but now they suck, because I had it. And I was, well, like, well, I had it when it was at Canby, and Canby yeah. sucks. And my Fred Meyer's right now is like, the ones down the street from where we live is going through um, construction and yeah. stuff. So. I just tasted ours, and I'm like, these aren't good anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm happy that they're huge. Because we have, like, the three tender meal that's, like, three chicken tenders. And then and I you have to get goes. three. But whatever I would get the three, I'd get, like, the biggest three. 
And the chicken alone would be like seven dollars. Yeah, no, and it's like you get the JoJo's too, right? You get like two sides of half JoJo's. a pound of JoJo's. Yeah, so that's like you, that will probably be like eight fifty. Yep. But you get it for like five ninety nine. Five fifty. Five fifty. Oh, that's cheap. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna eat that, and then a Hawaiian roll, a little taste of home. Mm-hmm. Aw, Hawaiian rolls Hawaii? are so good. And then I was like looking, and I'm like, why are Hawaiian rolls like four dollars? <laughs> Did they cost four dollars when I was in Hawaii? Do they? I don't. I don't remember. So I was texting my mom. I was like, "How much are Hawaiian rolls? Because they're really expensive here, <laughs> and I don't think they should be that expensive." How much were they? Did she text you back? Uh, she, she said kind of, but she always gets them on sale. Oh, okay, that's smart. Yeah. yeah. But they like come here frozen. They're not as good. Plants can that. poison people. Confirmed. Guard Shadows got it. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Vegetarianism sucks. <laughs> Kidding? No, it's not bad, actually. I kind of like it. But Should've the other chicken. day, the other day I had such a bad day, if... they didn't have any, like, options for me to eat at work. Mm-hmm. So I had to eat, like, these protein bars. Mm-hmm. And I was so dead, I was done with work. I mm-hmm. came back to go to take a nap or fall, probably fall asleep and just die. Um, and then I lay in my bed and I was like, why does it smell? It smelled <laughs> weird, you know? It smelled, like, <laughs> it smelled like feet. It was so gross. And I was like, my, do my feet really smell that bad? Like, they never... That's a Kaylee status. <laughs> my feet never smell that bad. And then I noticed that my bed was wet. And I texted Leroy, and I was like, Leroy, that's what Scott in my room. And he was like, yeah. And I found out that Scott... I think he marked my... I don't think he... I think he marked my bed. Is that the same? <laughs> well, do you, like... Was it wet? Because they spray. They don't, like, squat down and pee when they pee. Oh. I think he probably peed and it was so gross. Yeah. I was so pissed off. I like broke down. I called my friend. I started crying and <laughs> laughing. I was like freaking yeah. out. Because I was so dumb with that day. And I just went on this couch for two nights. And it's small. It's a small couch. Yeah. Well, there was like a week where... Oh, there was like a couple days where Amber was out of town. And so the cats just started peeing on her bed <laughs> instead of the litter box. Because the litter box never got cleaned. Oh. <laughs> it was over there. So then she got back. She's like, why is... Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, you just have to burn the bed. Because oh, it's God. dried in there now. It's not coming out. I, I don't like Scott. <laughs> Can we get rid of Scott, please? Yes, I want to get rid of Scott. Scott's just get... a problematic cat. I'm so surprised. <laughs> I used to love him, and now he's just so problematic. <laughs> well, you had to spend, like, a couple hours at a time with him. Maybe an That's hour true. tops. That's actually very true. <laughs> and he was really cute. And then he got annoying. Mm-hmm. But I love animals, and it makes me sad that Scott's not my cup of tea as an animal. But it happens, you know. Like that's life. You well, don't... Scott's like an outside cat. He used to like roam the woods in St. John's and be matted and gross. No, he didn't get matted and gross. That's what Amber told me when she found him. He was like that. Well, and he like lived there. Nobody took care of him. Yeah. We should just open a door and roam around here. See yep. if he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Well, when you said that he pooped in your room, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to buy him a tag and a collar, and then we can put him at the front door, and if he ever comes back, then he could come back. Yeah. Oh, he was what so gross, too. Like, I, the pee was bad. I'm so <laughs> glad he did not shit on my bed, because I would probably would have, you know, <laughs> opened the door and <laughs> politely pushed him out. I can tell you a horror story if you want to hear it. Oh, yeah, tell me all the horror stories. I love horror stories. Okay, when I was in, like, no, I wasn't fourth or fifth grade mm-hmm. um well, we a had, lovely time in life yeah where we had our little dog sarah she's like a 16 pound terrier oh and she would sleep up top in my bunk bed with so, you in your bed yeah. or was it like yeah in my bunk bed okay in the top because my brother had like a bottom one i had the top one yeah and so she would sleep up there and she couldn't jump down or anything so one morning i woke up <laughs> she shit in the bed and then I rolled around. <laughs> I am so <laughs> speechless by that story. That is disgusting, Leroy. You should have never put that out on the internet. Like, I am never going to let you live that now down. the internet knows. Now I know. That's even worse. <laughs> yep. So I just had to take a shower and all was good. I would... Oh, I would have not. I would have freaked out and started screaming and yelling and... Would have been a whole issue. <laughs> well, really, it wasn't cat shit. Cat shit's like the most disgusting shit. Dog piss is bad, then cat shit is bad. You know, like cat piss is worse. Everything cat is worse cat than dog. Think, I don't think cat piss is worse. Yes, it is. How? 
It what smell wise? It no? smells. No. It stinks. It does dog not go away. Dog piss smells worse than cat piss. Dog piss you can wipe away. I don't. It doesn't but it smells smell worse. anymore. It smells worse than cat piss. Yeah, but you do that and it's gone. Yeah, With cat, cat piss, piss you do it and then you take it away and then it's still there, smelling forever. I cleaned out homes that like were knocked down Ew. to the studs and had gone through a flood, and it still smelled like cat That's piss. That's so gross. But I love cats. I love cats yeah. so much. I love animals. Like we were looking at houses to buy, and we walked into one place, and like this smells like cat pee, and it's like, oh, new carpet, three thousand dollars off asking price. It's like, even if you replace the carpet, that smell's not going away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we bought a house, and then when they were putting out the carpets, one of the rooms had like a bunch of like pee spots on the carpet pad because mm. they had like small yappy dogs. But that smell went away. The cat piss smell? No, the dog. There was no dog pee smell, but you could tell that dogs had peed in that room a lot. Yeah. And there was no smell. So gross. Take care of your animals. <laughs> Dogs and cats need to go out. The thing that pissed me off the most is I never let Scott in my room. Yeah. He's not allowed. <laughs> he sheds way too much and he's so annoying. Yeah, I was awake. Like, Atari's never done that. I was awake in editing with my, like, door closed and I heard Scott, like, scratching at the door. I'm like, why are you so loud? Why are you scratching your pre store? She's not going to wake up and let you in. And then it got louder. I'm like, why are you trying to get into Mikey's room? <laughs> are you scratching at my door? I'm not going to let you in. <laughs> Then he, like, didn't shut up, so I'm like, okay. And then I, like, opened my door and didn't see him. I'm like, where the fuck are you? <laughs> and it was in my room. So I, like, walked in the living room. I'm like, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucking loud. Where are you right now? Was he meowing? Yeah. <laughs> then I, like, opened your door and he came running. I'm like, oh. And then I just closed the door. Should have opened it and checked to see if he fucked anything up. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mikey. Don't it's your fault. <laughs> like, it's kind of... Well, the thing is... I didn't know. Like, I was almost late for work. I was, like, trying to get out as fast as I could. And I guess when I was, like, leaving, he went into my room and, yeah. <laughs> yep. The other day, I, like, walked out the door because I was going to try and go to work early because so I had to get a car part and stuff. And, like, right when I closed the front door, I walked down the steps and, like, I don't have my keys in these pants. Do oh, yeah. Like? <laughs> that, yeah, that situation. <laughs> so, I leave my car unlocked all the time. I'm like, Okay, there's a spare key to my car in the glove box, but the glove box is locked, so nobody can get to the key. I wonder if I can get this. I don't think you should say that. <laughs> well, they don't know where I live. They don't know what my car looks like. They don't know what I drive. They might know what I drive if they listen to enough podcasts. Yeah. So I just went up to the glove box. I'm like, I wonder. Do I need to break this? They just, like, pulled on it a little bit, and, and it, it popped broke. right open. <laughs> and it didn't even break or anything. It just that, popped open. That's kind of bad, though. You should get that fixed. Or looked into it. Yeah, so I don't have my key in my car anymore. Well, that's good. That's Though I do have good insurance, so if someone wants to steal my car, well, that would be better. Car. I don't know. I had I'm this friend. I had a friend that had like this horribly like shit beat up. And he got stolen. Jeep Cherokee. And he's like, lock the doors. I'm like, no one's gonna steal anything out of this car. <laughs> no one's gonna steal your car, dude. It's a piece of shit. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah. it is. Did it get stolen? No. Oh. Like, to open the passenger door, you had to, like, lean across and open it. Yeah. And then the doors were heavy and creaky, and the thing, like, leaked oil and burned oil. Oh, oh why would... Why and would it was, like, a shit manual car. I'm like, no one's gonna steal it. No one's gonna steal it. People who offended? steal cars don't get manuals. It's like, it's a rare car. It's like, no, it's not. It's, it's not. It's a piece of shit Jeep, Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> you live in the Northwest. There are tons of them. If anyone wants it and then like he was also checking like different keys on it it's like oh turns out your key can turn on my car and it's like see <laughs> if anyone wanted to steal your car they, they could just, just use any yeah. key that's that's stupid that's yeah. car's stupid what happened to his car did it die hopefully it died i don't know hopefully hopefully he died <laughs> just kidding no he's cool but like he could pull the key out while it was running <laughs> <laughs> why would you drive that's a death machine that's something that will kill you that's like the time that he almost killed me in a gold what well, you well he can it didn't like turn off he could just yeah. pull the key out and it would still be running and everything that's so scary so that's why if he ever like lost his key somewhere he's like I just need to borrow your key to turn on my car so I can go somewhere it's like <laughs> that's so weird dude just get a copy of your key yeah, yeah I don't think so I'd get in that I miss your car I love my Jeep. I miss, I miss it. it. 
I was there when it died. Yeah. I almost died with it. We almost died with it. That was so scary. And wasn't it raining? That's like walked like a McDonald's or something. It wasn't raining. It was like drizzling. Like drizzling. It was late April. So. I was wet. My hair was so gross. <laughs> well, we were only there for like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, my hair is so gross. The I... water ruined it. Yeah. Well, there was an accident where we were. We were that accident. Then there was another accident up the street. Was there really another accident up the street? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, like the person that was coming to pick us up. He's like, is that you? It's like, no. Oh, there's another accident. Just like, oh, no. It was like, because we were on the first loop, and then there was an accident on the second loop. <laughs> My cousin had spun out on that second loop. In his Your cousin? Car. Yeah. <laughs> so two foremans were... No, he's a hurl, but... <laughs> like he didn't, he didn't. Can, can you say that? can you say your other like, last name one more time? Hurlbutt. I love it. <laughs> yep. They were her butt. Yeah, like he was just driving, and butt. then like the back end kicked out, and he just like turned around. Luckily, a police officer was like behind him, so he's like, "Need you to take this breathalyzer really quick." I, I'm surprised they didn't make you take the breathalyzer. Well, the police didn't. Oh yeah, the police did come. The police did come. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were, we were, I, I wasn't old enough to drink because I wasn't drunk. Okay. Well, it wouldn't matter I, if you were drunk. <laughs> well, I'm underage. I was like, how old was I? I was like 19. Maybe. Or 20? You were probably 20. No, I was 19. 19? Yeah. Fair. I was about to be 20. <laughs> I'm old. We're old, Leroy. That was like yeah. two years ago. Like, you're like 32 and I'm 22 now. Yeah, my Scott Pilgrim birthday party. 24. <laughs> 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 yeah. What are you doing for your birthday, by the way? It's coming up very soon. I don't know. I need to get all the free Dutch Brothers. Let's get drunk. Let's get like, super drunk. <laughs> super drunk. Let's get like trash. Should get all the rum. I was thinking tequila. I was thinking tequila shots. Tequila. As long as it's not well whiskey, I'm fine. Throw up in the strip clubs again. <laughs> that was tequila, wasn't it? Or was it whiskey? It was tequila. Because I didn't get whiskey. Yeah. Well, the first one was whiskey. I was like, Mikey, I don't want whiskey. <laughs> and then they gave me whiskey. Oh, yeah. Today, I was like, like oh, I'll eat tequila, right? Yeah. Oh, they gave, I, either you got the tequila or they gave us both whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, they gave us both whiskey. Yep. Those were big ass shots, too. Um, they weren't they even were shots, more... they were like double shots. Yeah. They were so big. <laughs> then we went to the Irish bar down the street, and then that was like fucking class of it yeah well i gave your i actually paid like really good for that tequila because it's um i forgot what the brand it is but it's pretty good mm-hmm. i drink it occasionally mm-hmm. with my friends yeah. casadores is good patron patron yeah <laughs> we need I'm the mike get, and dave whiskey i'm gonna get so drunk this weekend because <laughs> i'm going to california i'm really excited i'm gonna get so drunk <laughs> like that's my plan Eat food, buy clothes. No, maybe not buy clothes. I'm bringing a lot of clothes with yeah, me. Why would you need to buy clothes in California? They sell the same clothes everywhere. Oh, no, they don't. I'm going to Book Hayes. <laughs> and I'm going to um, Silicon Valley. <laughs> Boutiques. Boutiques, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I meant, bitch. I'm going to go, get, I'm gonna go to some bouquets. <laughs> Are we just like the flower thing? The flower yeah, arrangements? The flower arrangements. <laughs> don't judge me. I am sick. I am dying. I was like defecating all over Lyra's floor earlier today. <laughs> for being a vegetarian bitch <laughs> she got the chicken it's vegetarian <laughs> chicken is vegan <laughs> maybe you got the old cheese or something because the cheese that i got was new that's probably because you took all of it i took all the cheese that's <laughs> all that bitch was stupid though like she like was giving like, me can chicken I get more cheese she went back and started putting chicken I said more cheese. I said cheese, right? Oh. Did I say cheese clearly? I don't know. I said Probably. I think I said cheese. I was like cheese, and she was like, "Oh," and she was like double, and I was like, "Yeah, double the cheese. Fuck yeah, that's amazing." <laughs> that was just like an extra half. Like I want double the mm-hmm. cheese, and she went back and got me. And I was like, "No, I'm vegetarian." Yeah, should have thrown a fit and made her get a new one. I'm not that mean. I'm not that serious about vegetarianism. Yeah. You know, it's just something that I want to do just because I can. Yep. Because I'm privileged enough. You know, privileged. You and your not white privilegedness. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not get into that. What else? Pokemon Go came out. Yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Go came out. <laughs> Pokemon Go came out. And it finally works. It and like the works. first week where you couldn't log in. Was it really bad the first week? The first it's week. It's still bad. It's the so first bad. week I could not use it at all during the day. Oh. I could only use it like after 10 p.m. after everyone on the East Coast went to bed. Yeah. It's, That's when it's like, still not okay. It's so yeah. messed up. Yeah, like the GPS locating doesn't work that great. And then you have to pay for Pokeballs. I have like no Pokeballs around. You don't have to pay for Pokeballs. Just walk around downtown 
Any, here? Yeah, let's downtown, go, let's go Portland, let's go downtown Portland, Portland like let's go Portland every today. other foot is a pokey stop. Leroy, let's go to Portland today and I'll buy you dinner. <laughs> And then we're gonna get pizza at Sizzle Pie. Sizzle Pie. Sizzle Pie pizza. Do you like Sizzle Pie? Uh, it was okay last time I had it. I like it a lot. I like, well, I don't get the pepperoni stuff. I usually get like, the other like cold pizzas mm-hmm. they have. They have vegetarian pizzas though. Yeah. Can I add all the pizza meatses? Ew. I hate pizza pizza. What's wrong? Well, it's not bad, but I, I prefer Sizzle Pie. Yeah. I've got a Roma Candle actually. Roma Candle is really good. That's yeah, the place I keep talking there. about. Where they give you scissors to cut the pizza with. Mm. I think there was something down like the highway over here that looked like a big pizza place. So that one pizza place. There's a round table clubhouse, whatever that we is. <laughs> that sounds fun. We should go there when you get the car fixed. Yep. I have to go pick up my car. Because yeah, I'm not going to I called in sick because I had like three hours of sleep and I would have given everybody free shit. Just poop in the little <laughs> trash can they give you there. Sorry, I have food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I have food poisoning. Just give me a second. There's a little gross daddy there. <laughs> I'm not going to make it to the bathroom. <laughs> what do you like with you saw the customers? Like those ladies from last week, the Golden Girls, <laughs> which girls. you guys should go check out that podcast. That was pretty yeah. funny. I'll link it somewhere. Yeah. I'm somewhere. not going to watch through the thing to find that point <laughs> to click it in because I'm lazy as shit. Yeah. It will be in the description. <laughs> Beth, like, you want to go? What level are you? I think I got level 7? Barely. I'm level 9, about to be level 10. Mm-hmm. And have a, a 10 kilometer egg, which yeah. I'm excited about hatching. I'm almost about to hatch my first 2 kilometer egg. Barely? Yeah, because the GPS doesn't work. I'm so. about to hatch my first 5 kilometer egg. Like, I don't walk like, the away. places, I jump to different places. We have to like, leave it on. Because like, it doesn't walk work in the background, which is dumb. Yeah. We need to get the little watch thing. Maybe that works. Little watch just makes it so you can collect the Pokestops without pulling out your phone. That's so stupid. And it's like $35. I wish they like made and it compatible it's like for the everywhere. Apple Watch. Yeah. Because the Apple Watch is badass. Like my Apple Watch. You just get an Apple Watch. Did they just announce the second Apple Watch? Yeah, I think they did. It's supposed to be better. My Apple... This The first one's kind of laggy, but it's okay, you know? Mm-hmm. And they announced a bunch of like new bands and stuff. Yeah, I need to get... I want to... Just get a new. I'm gonna just get a new Apple Watch, actually. To be honest, a new Apple Watch. Because like I like this one, but I want like one. I want two Apple Watches. <laughs> is that? Uh, is that like <laughs> like first one privilege? There's a glitch where if you get rid of one Apple Watch, it would always connect to the same phone, even if it was connected to a different phone. Really? Yeah. <laughs> if go. you want to get a second one, I'll take that one off. If you want a Leroy's happy birthday? Yay! And then I can, like, take pictures or set oh, my so spy creepy. camera. I, I want to do it so bad. I want to, like, <laughs> find, uncover, like, a secret and, like, exploit it and stuff like that. Like, pretty old liars. <gasps> you could be Hannah. <laughs> no, I feel like I'd be Hannah. I feel like you'd be more like... Um, Just have to load up Tinder so I can swipe left and right. I wonder if that works. Let me check. I'm going to check if that works right now. <laughs> we are about to use Tinder on my Apple Watch. Apple Watch. Oh, do you have Tinder on there? Um, it's, like, automatically loaded. Yeah. No, I don't have Tinder on here. Do you have StubHub on there? I have Domino's on here. It's over pizza. <laughs> I have Twitter. I have Skype. I have StubHub, yeah. No, I don't have Tinder. No Tinder on the Well, iPhone. actually, Tinder actually... Like, I don't know. The other day, I didn't unlock my phone. Mm-hmm. So, Tinder uninstalled on my phone. <laughs> so, I had to go over and install it. And it was like... I don't know. My phone's been really weird. Mm. Like, uh, my Facebook got hacked, I think. Mm. So, I had to like change my password and like add more security. Yeah. Oh, that's the big thing that's going around right now. All the big YouTube channels are getting hacked. Oh, really? That sucks. Yeah. Well, what they're doing is they're, like, calling up T-Mobile and different places. Because they have the two-factor authentication. Yeah. To where they'll send you the thing to your phone. And apparently that can just act as the password if you want it to. We should do that and hack, like, somebody with the big, like, PewDiePie. (laughs) And, like, get his subscribers to watch us. (laughs) Yeah, but they, like, hacked H3H3 and Linus Tech Tips. Yeah. And, like, Leafy is here and a bunch of big guys. Like, they just call up T-Mobile. Hi! I'm so-and-so. Can you send me a new SIM card? And they'll be like, okay. <laughs> That's so weird. You don't even need anything. It's like, oh, yeah, no problem. That's so weird. Yeah. Step up your security game, T-Mobile, because mm-hmm. I have you. And if that ever happens to me, I'm suing you for everything. So, now everyone just needs to have, like, a second backup phone as their just authenticator that they never use. 
That's so stupid. Yep. I don't want two iPhones. <laughs> I actually want the iPhone 7, so I might dump this and get the iPhone 7, because I have the iPhone 6S, <laughs> which I like. You have the same one, right? I just get the S's. You get and the S's? So if it's the 7S? That's what I do. Okay, what's, what's the... It's Siri, right? That's the only thing that's different? The yeah. S is for Siri? No. Nope. What, what is it then? Well, the 6 is like the original one, and it's like the first year hardware. Okay. And then it's like, okay. The and S then, like, like the... with the S, they added the 3D touch. They made it so it has a 4K camera. Which is great. Better battery. It was just, like, a bunch of little improvements. You can watch more porn now without having to charge your phone. You can watch porn on the go with a better battery. Yeah. Like, there's the iPhone 5 and then the 5S. Yeah. Can, and... I, can we get personal? Side note? Can what? we get really personal? I don't know. Personal. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched porn on the go? On the go? Yeah. Props. Yep. Props. Yep, I totally have. <laughs> <laughs> me, well, like me too. <laughs> but like, not well. Like I've never masturbated in public. I don't think I'd ever do that. But sometimes oh. I'll get bored and like I'll be like, "Hey, let's watch this together." I'll show my friend a porn that I've watched, and I'm like, "I like this one." <laughs> it's so weird. But, like I don't, like I don't have any shame. Oh, you know? when I was driving back from North Dakota, we got bored because <gasps> our car died. Porn. So we were just like watching porn. It's like here, watch this one, and we all knew like this one that was so stupid. <laughs> called anal loving bunny teens starring sasha gray and some other bitch bunny teens that's yeah. weird that's more so like they're furries, just like it? jumping around like pretending to be bunnies and waggling their butts and then they poop out these giant balls they poop they don't poop it. it's like this giant ball it was in their asshole How and then it was ball? Not, it was a pretty good size was it this big it was like that big that's a big fucking <laughs> ball why would yep. you want that in you so they were really good at anal things i guess I'm really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I could also have anything that big. Anything that big. Anything, like, super big. It's like, no, no access granted. Get the fuck away. So, yeah, it was like that. And then, like, you just jump around. It's like, okay, is this giant ball. And then they're shoving it back in there, popping it back out. They're putting it in a butthole and popping it And then they out. start licking each other's buttholes. And then they just start farting. Like, <laughs> horrible farting. And we were just, like, laughing. It was so stupid. It's like... <laughs> I literally do not have any words right now. Like I'm so mm -hmm. confused. Like yeah, we weren't masturbating to this thing. We were I just like laughing at it the whole time. No. Have you ever like masturbated with somebody else in the room? No. <laughs> no. I have, but like not with two porn, you know, like <laughs> relationship wise, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know it's weird. <laughs> yeah. So then whenever shit like that happens, I find it funny and have to show everyone. Yeah, I like the cake farts. I did not start cake farts. Who started cake farts? We went up to Seattle as a group of friends, and then we ran into someone else that was working on like, a school we? computer. Like Amber and a bunch of her college okay. friends. And we ran into someone they knew that was working the front desk, and he's like, here, look at cake farts. So we watched cake farts, and it was dumb. Yeah. And I just kept it alive by showing everyone. You showed me that. Yep. I hated you for it. I hated you so much for it. Better than two guys in one cup, though, right? I never watched that. <gasps> we should. Watch I'm not this. gonna watch that. <gasps> no. Nope. Who wants to see a reaction video of us watching two <laughs> um two girls in one cup? I'm not watching it. Why? Come on, we react to. I will react to you reacting to it. It's a rite of passage. You have to watch it. Remember yeah. when that was like a big thing—the reaction yeah. videos? That was the big. Yeah. Now everyone reacting channel is just like, here's the whole video, and I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> <laughs> Whole channels like that that have hundreds of thousands of Can subscribers. We watch it? Can I watch it for the 10 year anniversary? It's coming up. It's coming up. I'm not going to watch it. 10 year anniversary for. Nope. One, um, two Girls, One Cup. Let me look when that is. I know it's coming up very soon. I have not seen one second of Two Girls, One Cup. I remember me and my friend Christina watched it. And as soon as the, mu the music came on, we sort of started freaking out because we <laughs> were like not prepared. Yep. It's called Hungry Bitches. It's coming out very January soon. January 5th, 2007. October, January 5th, 2007? That's what I saw up there. Oh, we watch it January 5th, 2017. <laughs> you can watch it. There, you have to watch it with us. I'll pretend I'm watching it. I'll green screen me in. What? I'll green screen me in. Oh, come on, Leroy, please, we have to. We have to, like, do a reaction video of it. No, I'm good. I'm gonna sound to you. Is he gonna do it with me? <laughs> nope. No, no, she's too awkward. <laughs> I'm just looking at it. I'm trying to convince her. I'm talking to her out. Okay, do it. She's not gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Okay. Like, hey, can you do a big favor? Can you do it with Haley? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, can <laughs> you do me a big favor? Just need to watch Two Girls, One Cup in a couple uh, months with you. Um, thank you. <laughs> what if you said yes? Would you... <laughs> Oh, sure. You want to buy my plane tickets to PAX? <laughs> I'll do it with you. <laughs> oh, doing PAX South or doing PAX South? I want to do PAX South. Do PAX South. If you if you um get the hotel situation and figure it out, yeah, I'll I totally buy my tickets. Out. Yep. What do you need? <laughs> to watch two girls, one cup. <laughs> girls. <laughs> two, two girls. girls. <laughs> one cup. <laughs> For the 10 <laughs> year anniversary. <laughs> I just asked Anne. Hopefully she says yes. I'm really <laughs> excited. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Anne is Leroy's mistress. Mm -hmm. Because um, Leroy's my man, first and foremost. She said, oh my god. <laughs> Please, sad face. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a no. That is not a no. That's an, oh my god. <gasps> She said yes. She said yes. She said yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. She said yes. You have fun with that one. <laughs> <laughs> she, she loves me. <laughs> More than Leroy. <laughs> Ask her. Make sure. Sounds fun. Look forward to that. I look forward to mine and Anne's reaction video. You can do it live on the social eating channel while can you're we, eating. Can we really, can we really Just have it? to eat food at the same time. Chocolate, eat chocolate pudding. <laughs> Out of a cup. Can we do it? We'll like have it eaten and it's us eating chocolate pudding all the time. That would be such a big thing, Larry. Okay, oh, maybe I'm, I'll do it. I am down to that because that's going to be such a big thing. There's yeah. somebody's going to sell it though. But that's gonna Everyone be mark your calendars now. But we have no viewers who's going to steal it. I know. It's just good. <laughs> well, we're going to get viewers after that, you know? Yep. Anne's the only one that watches these. Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. Well, you just it... agreed to it, so. <laughs> is it Erler here? Maybe. I don't know. Garg was here. She left. Erler he, he, leaves. What? He, she. Garg is a dude, okay. I think. I think he left because I, I called him a girl. Well, Nerd Alert and Garg. Garg was making fun of Nerd Alert one night. And then Nerd Alert didn't like it. So. Oh. Awkward. They're not buddies. There's Nerd Alert. Hi. <laughs> Nerd Alert, do you want to watch Two Girls One Cup with us? Do you want to watch me and Anne watch it while eating chocolate pudding? Because I think that's like, the funniest thing ever, you know? <laughs> no, mud cups. Like, dirt cups. Dirt cups, yeah. With um, <laughs> pieces of brownies in it, with nuts. <laughs> and kind of corn. Delicious. <laughs> and worms. Mm -hmm. Come worms. Okay, what else happened this week? So Mike and Dave need wedding dates. That was surprisingly a good movie. I was really, was really funny. surprised. And Audrey Plaza stole the show. She did. She's <laughs> a great character. And she's like me. Zach Efron was actually funny. Zach Efron was surprisingly funny. <laughs> Adam Devine was Adam, Adam Devine. Adam Devine was Adam Adam Devine. Whatever the fuck his name is. is. He He's was always funny. his regular character. Anna Kendrick played a good, like, annoying, innocent girl who's trying to be bad. Yep. She's kind of ditzy, dumb. Yeah. It was a good movie. It was really good. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen it, I recommend going to see it. Yeah, I was surprised. I was expecting, like, a, you know, like, kind of more gross. I was expecting more nudity, to be honest, actually. Okay. That's the uncut version. I mean, you got one titty, a couple butts. That's more than enough Kamal Nanjiani I've ever <laughs> need to see. We got <laughs> we got um a fake erection from Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Adam's penis is smaller in real life though, to be honest. It's probably smaller than that, yeah. Yeah. That's like Zac Efron level in the movie. No. <laughs> I don't think Zac Efron has a big penis size. I feel like mm -hmm. he's like a good size. I feel like Adam is small though. <laughs> I feel like if anything, Aubrey Plaza has the biggest penis out of all of them. <laughs> Like, I was talking with my friend at work, and it's like, what's the funniest moment? Wait, 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 wait. What did you say? I talking with my friend at work about it. Friend? No. Yeah. No. Okay. No. Acquaintance. Acquaintance. Yeah. Okay. Correct yourself. Go on. <laughs> Acquaintance at work. Okay. 
Like, I don't know if it has, like, a funniest moment in the movie. It was just, like, a consistent level the whole time. I like the, um, like, sauna scenes where <laughs> the sisters are getting massaged and then Abby Plaza is fingering the lesbian. <laughs> that was, that was good. Spread, spread them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the unrated cut will be better. They'll cut anything out or anything in well i think there's a scene missing where they're wearing like wrestling outfits because i remember pictures leaking of that mm -hmm. and i was in the movie i think mm -hmm. we'll see we'll see i'll watch the unrated cut we should watch neighbors too by the way we've yeah. watched it maybe that's funny tried to find it online today but there's just like hd recorded versions of it with chinese oh, subtitles came out in, like end of may beginning of june that's weird that's taking a long time yeah i don't know everything's like coming out super early on digital first now yeah like what what what, what just came out batman versus superman the extended edition the <gasps> r-rated version did with 40 did minutes did i tell you about taylor the guy i work with yeah i told him that movie <laughs> sucked and he was so upset <laughs> but then i started asking him i was like hey have you seen like yeah i was like what did you think it was they were always like it wasn't, it wasn't anything special. So I kept telling him, and he kept getting mad. And he was like, we're starting a war. And I'm like, I just said a movie sucked, and people agree with me. I'm sorry. But yeah, nobody, nobody has He thinks said, it's the best movie ever. Nobody thinks it's a great movie. No, he thinks it's the best movie ever. That's the way he puts it. At best, it's an okay movie. Maybe yeah, like, good. Like, it's a decent movie. Like, I wouldn't pay to watch it. I don't think I'd watch it at all. It's like, all the internet hate doesn't lead up to it. Yeah. Like, it doesn't deserve all the hate it gets. But it doesn't good. deserve any praise yeah. for being something. And he's always like, oh, you have to watch the unrated version and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no. <laughs> they added, like, one scene, and they gave <laughs> Superman some speaking roles in the unrated version. <laughs> Did he not speak in the movie? He only had, like, 11 lines in the whole Why? movie. <laughs> Who was Superman, by the way? The guy from Batman. No, the guy from, like, the last Superman movie, right? Same actor? It's the same Superman from Man of Steel. Yeah. I don't know. Was Ben Affleck He's not as Batman? Ben Affleck was good as Batman. If anything, that's like the best thing out of this movie. Ben Affleck is Batman? Yep. And then he can have his own... He's gonna cameo in Suicide Squad, and then he's getting his own movie that he's also writing and directing. Ben Affleck? Yeah. That's cool, I like that. I probably won't watch it, but I'll do it. <laughs> like, I remember all the people, like, they were like, Oh, Ben Affleck's gonna be terrible. I'm like... He's won awards for his directing, his writing, his and acting. his acting. I think it's going to be fine. It's like, did you see Daredevil? And I was like, yeah, did you know that Daredevil script was terrible? <laughs> and that was like a very early Marvel film. And I, even then, the director's cut of that movie is way better than the actual cut. I don't think we should cut. consider Daredevil yeah. a movie. <laughs> I think we should forget about that. There's a TV show that's better than a movie. Yeah. Yeah, Marvel's bringing everything closer to home and fixing yeah. everything marvel's marvel's everything dc wishes they could be yep. in honesty marvel is like slowly killing off the x-men comics too yeah because they're not going to promote anything that they're not going to make money off of so are you done with are you, are you that's done why with there's the no fantastic four comics yeah. are you done with the x-men series uh, I don't think so. They're talking about doing another movie, and then they're talking about doing TV shows. Yeah, but it's with a new cast, right, for the, another movie? Well, it's not a new new cast. They, but it's, like, from, um... No. It's the same cast. Like, the older cast, or, like, the, the newer, newer cast? cast? The newer cast, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what I meant. Like, the new cast. Fassbender and other guys. Oh, Fassbender is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they can get Fassbender to come back. Why? Does he not want to do it anymore? It's not that he won't do it. It's just he's a big name now and he's busy. He's a really big name. Yeah. He's a big everything. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only reason to watch Prometheus. Prometheus sucked. Prometheus was okay. It didn't suck. It was just okay. Maybe it wasn't it's, great. It was not good. It was so bad. I like... Oh, I don't know. I don't the know writing was terrible. The characters were terrible. <laughs> I like the main character. I liked her. She was... I think... I, I like her because she was... Like... She was attractive. Yeah, she, she was fine. And I, I loved <laughs> Charlie's... Whatever her name is. Their own. Yeah, I like her a lot too. <laughs> it's just too much stupid in that movie. Like, <laughs> bitch, duck and row, don't keep <laughs> running. <laughs> it's like, can you forgive that? Because that's like a stressful scene, but the fucking idiots that were walking around. I'm scared of this dead alien. Oh, look, here's a live one. It's so cute. Let me and touch it's like it. A penis. <laughs> it's like, 
I want to jack it off. <laughs> it's just my fucking job to be here. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. That's okay. <laughs> uh, so bad. We should watch Alien movies. I know you haven't watched them. We need to watch good. Aliens and maybe Alien 3. I uh, know. We should watch Resurrection because that's the best one. Resurrection. Yep. Best movie ever. I had a teacher actually thought that was the best <laughs> one. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And you're, you have a degree? <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was fucking stupid. I didn't like I, her. She was talking about how she went to um, Britain and she was being the, a, a loud American purposely. <laughs> and it was like, that's very disrespectful first and foremost. Oh, good for you. You did a thing. Yeah. She was very anti-men, by the way. Like, she taught a gender theory class, but it was all about female empowerment and, like, fuck men, pretty much. Like, like I don't be kidding. Like, I'm all for feminism, but the way she was doing it wasn't feminism. It was mm-hmm. bad. Feminism! Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters. <laughs> if you hate this movie, it's because you hate women. You don't hate it because it's not that good. You, have, you haven't watched that, so you're right. I said no, we... that's what everyone is saying oh. online. It's like, yeah. It's not good. I mean, their chemistry is great, and I like all these actresses. It's just some of them have really bad roles. Yeah. And then they're making all the men fucking idiots. And... Are they really? Yeah. That's so stupid. We, we need to watch it at, like, the $5 Tuesday night. Yeah, I will pay $5 to see it on Tuesday. Let's do it Tuesday. Yep. When I get back from my trip. Yep. Are you going to miss me while I'm gone? So much. Just going to have to sleep on your bed. And masturbate to my sense. pillows. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Mark your territory. <laughs> yeah, Ghostbusters. Like, the first trailer was terrible. I thought it was, I thought it was okay. The actually, first trailer it. was, like, terrible. I was laughing And at then it. every trailer since then has been better. Yeah. Although I do know, like, the last gag from Ghostbusters. The new one? Yep. Tell me later. Not on the podcast. <laughs> Spoilers for Spoilers. a movie that comes out Tomorrow. in four hours. Is it four hours? Let's watch it tonight. Let's go to the midnight premiere. No, actually, I can't. I need to pack, and then I am leaving around 9. 9 p.m. or a.m.? P.m. P.m.? Yeah. I'm going to go uh, stay at my um, oh. aunt's and uncle's. Okay. Because I have my flights at, like... I need to be there by four. Because yeah. yeah. working time is 5.20 and I depart at six. Mm. It's only an hour flight too. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I'm, ba- I'm breaking my vegetarianism for in and out so it's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Is it good? Is it good or is it okay? I had, well, the first two times I had in and out I was not impressed at mm-hmm. all. And their fries are the worst fries that I've ever eaten. Yeah, no, the fries are lazy. I know that much. I know, like, um, chefs really do hate their fries. Their fries are styrofoam garbage yeah. that have no flavor. Very lazy. Or heat. They're warm and cold at the same time. That's gross. That's gross. <laughs> I, mean, I actually feel like throwing up again. <laughs> but their burger, after you realize it's a $2 burger. It's $22? It's a good burger for $2. That's nice. Well, I have the whole <laughs> burger thing where I'm, like, scared of burgers, you know? <laughs> that whole thing. But at one place, Red Mill, right? In Seattle? We go there again. I need to go there again. Let's go. Go to Seattle. I'm getting my car's oil changed, and then it should actually be able to drive to Seattle. And we'll get burgers. Mm -hmm. Can do that for my birthday, maybe. Okay. Maybe that Sunday. I think I work Sunday. Yeah. Well, maybe some other day. But I probably get off earlier, because I think I'm working like at 8 a.m., and I got off like 1. (laughs) Red Mill's delicious. Red Mill's really good. Delicious. Dick's is really good for the cheap price. Yeah. What Sunday is that, by the way? Uh, 24th. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm working until 7. Yeah. I have Saturday off. Mm-hmm. You have Saturday off. I don't know if you, you don't have Saturday off, right? I do have Saturday. Oh, I don't. But I'm going to call in. Saturday? Yeah. We can go Saturday. 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 Yeah. I'd be down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we go there, and then if we get back by 8, because... Willie wants to go around to all the Dutch brothers with me to get free coffee. That's smart. Do that, Leroy. Get all the free coffee. All the free Does coffee. he work? Stuck to fifth Saturday? Yeah, he's 11 to 8. Oh, okay, yeah. I was supposed to be 1 to 10, but I'm like, no. Claim to birthday. After being the Tell PIC. Me birthday. They after being PIC two, two days in a row. Two days in a row. Two dies. Two dies. Two dies. <laughs> two dies in a row. Two will die to graduate anymore. You don't like being PIC? It's fine. It's just they fuck us with the schedule. Do they really? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Explain. Well, Monday when I was closing, we had three people after 
Yeah. We had three people last Wednesday. We had three people after seven. For after five. We had three people. And then Louie came in at eight to help me do dishes and everything. So we could actually close the store. That's nice of him. Yeah. And then the other day we were supposed to have three people after seven, which isn't enough. But then I told Leo to come in late, so he did. And yeah. then I told <laughs> then another lady came in late by accident, so we had enough people. How does that happen? Well, she wrote her thing down. She's old and confused. Oh, that's sad. It's like it's okay. I'm young and confused. <laughs> <laughs> Do I like people you're like animals you're like inanimate objects it's very confusing inanimate objects are so sexy i'm pansexual i love pants Ooh, i like to lick what about edges. pots do you like pots, you fuck pots. Pens? i fuck pots so hard <laughs> i hate fuck them pots are too dirty i want those pots i want those pants <laughs> you have sexy skillets <gasps> fuck skillets <laughs> i you get herpes what else happened this week I ate the Chipotle. I ate the Chipotle. Uh, we watched Mike and Dave. We watched Mike and Dave. Oh, Mr. Robot started yesterday. Mr. Robot started? Yep. Was, I thought it was a few days ago. Well, it leaked online because it's a cyber hacking show, so they had a pretend leak. Oh, really? It was pretend? It was leak on like Facebook and Twitter for a couple hours. Leaked. <laughs> but it was just like part one of the two-part premiere. Okay, that's smart, I guess. So... Progress activity. My um, Apple Watch is notified mm-hmm. me that I made progress today. Afternoon stand goal pros- progress. Four hours. I've not stood four hours. <laughs> have you been laying down? <laughs> I've been laying down. Does that count? <laughs> I'm static. No. I've been laying down probably for like four hours actually. Yep. So I was like dying in bed. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Robot came out. And then they had like the after show, which I got bored of and turned off. Who's on the after show? Who does the after show? I don't know. He kept saying his name over and over again, but I never recognized him. Was he, um, was he like a ripoff of that one comedian? I forget his name. It was like Alan Green or some shit like that. I don't know who that is. But yeah. you know what I'm about the other comedian? Who's like... Chris Hardwick? Yeah, is he like a ripoff, was he like a ripoff of Chris Hardwick? No. No? That's good then. But they had the writer and then two of the main actors. That yeah, was pretty good. The guy from, um... Until Dawn. Until Dawn? Yep. This is, is like his breakout role... The show has already won so many awards. That's nice. It's really mm-hmm. good. I heard it's really good, so I haven't watched that. So so well, Anne needs to catch up. <gasps> I'll watch it with Anne. Because I was watching, like, I watched, like, the first four episodes with her, and I'm like, I need, I need, I need to keep watching. <laughs> yeah. So I just watched all the episodes. Mm-hmm. And it was so good. And then we never got around to watching it again. And it just came out on Blu-ray, so you can go out and get Blu-rays and then watch them with you. Um, Blu-rays? I love Blu-rays. We could like Hulu wet or I don't want Hulu. I don't want to watch ads. We'll voodoo wet. <laughs> voodoo. V U D U. Hoodoo, you voodoo, bitch. Oh, you've been playing that psych soundtrack like on your car a lot. It's kind of like it's not getting annoying, but it's like <laughs> <laughs> there are some songs that are annoying. Like the um, first one we heard yesterday. She's a brick. How? Not that one. That was not a bad song. But the one, first one you were playing yesterday. I don't know. It was like R and B one with a girl singing. Oh yeah. All the middle tracks. That whole album is not good. And then the song you guys all like by Hated. <laughs> simple Plan. Was it Simple Plan? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to grow up. Yeah, that song. <laughs> it's not like a Simple Plan ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> that song is just like that line over and over again for like three minutes. They have the music video on the DVD. Card. Live. I wanted to see Yellow Card. I saw them live at... They were at Warp Tour, weren't they? Yeah. Well, I went to see them that one year. Yeah, they were there. But they were the same time that I Fight Dragons was playing. Okay, yeah. I was <laughs> in a very similar situation. I wanted to see Breathe Carolina. Mm-hmm. But Issues were playing at the same too. Uh-huh. And both bands I like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm actually friends with one of the lead singer's friends, kind yeah. of. Like we, it... we Snapchat each other a lot. Was it Yellow Card that just announced that they were breaking up? Yellow Card? Yeah. They released one new album. Some band just did that, and it's like, it's a, still a band. Yeah. You know Metro Station became a band? Who? Again, Metro Station. Shake, 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 shake it. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. And it's like, why? Nobody, like, no, like, no offense to them, but like, nobody <laughs> <laughs> Or like, the Medic Droid, if you ever heard, listen to the oh, Medic yeah, Droid. I heard them. I liked their demos, and then the album came out, and like, this is horrible. <laughs> Which one was the big song? Um, 
Yeah. Fuck me in the back seat. Yeah. Fuck me in the back seat. No, JK, JK, JK. LOL. For L-O-L-O-L-O. sure, baby. For sure, not. For sure, eh. For sure, bah. Yeah, that song. <laughs> for sure. That was like my anthem for like, I think, yeah. seventh or eighth grade. <laughs> that was like my freshman year. It was that, My Chemical Romance. You had to listen to the Medical Panic at the Disco. I didn't Paramore. like listen to it. Everyone played it. Paramore. No, Paramore was Paramore sophomore was year. Middle school for me. I think Paramore caught on sophomore year. But everyone was listening to like Panic at the Disco, their first album came out or something that year. That was big. And then My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade came out that year. And that was huge. And they actually came to Hawaii to play. That's so nice. all my friends went to the other Do you remember Hollywood Undead? Yes. <laughs> I've been to their concert. You yeah, have you? Yep. Um, they went to one of the mosques close where I live mm-hmm. and they were walking around with their masks off so nobody recognized them. Yep. And they made a comment about it later. I think it was on Twitter or something or Facebook. <laughs> and they're like, we were walking around the mall and nobody recognized us. <laughs> I was like watching their, I bought their like live album that came with a DVD and Was it even good? I mean, I like their first album. We should just, we should just, like, <laughs> quit the podcast and listen yeah. to them forever. Well, like, they opened one year. They opened for Avenged Sevenfold, so I saw them there. But they only play, like, one or two songs with the masks, and then they throw them out. Yeah. And it's like, why do you even have the fucking masks? Well, for fans. <laughs> fans want the masks. It's like Slipknot has their fucking masks, and they only perform in those masks. I forgot Slipknot was a thing. <laughs> that you're doing a tour. I didn't, I didn't like Slipknot. Well, I didn't like Slipknot or Disturbed because this one guy would always, like, <laughs> do, like, the um, the shout that the guy from Disturbed does. And it was wow. so, He did it the worst <laughs> way. And, like, I just hated those two bands because of them. And Korn. Yeah. I hated Korn because of them, too. Korn? So good. For some reason, I thought, like, you had to, like, hate one thing if you liked another. So it's like, oh, I like Korn. I can't like Disturbed. And it's like, wait. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like either of them because of that one guy. And it's like the people like, I like Xbox. I can't like PlayStation 4. It's like, oh, um, wait. You can just own both of them. I like <laughs> PlayStation 4. Xbox, I never really had too much, you know. Xbox 360 kicked the shit out of the PS3. Xbox In the early years. Yeah, Xbox 360 was great. <laughs> but PS2 kicked the shit out of the Xbox One. The original Xbox. Xbox One. You mean yeah, the Xbox? Yeah. And then Xbox One is trying to be PS4. Um, the queen, though, that we will never forget is the Dreamcast. <laughs> <laughs> I will defend the Dreamcast to the day I die, which is probably everyone, like... Everyone today. says the Dreamcast is one of the greatest failed systems. It was. It really was. Yeah. I loved it. I remember play the, playing Crazy Taxi, Sonic Adventure 2, um, just a bunch of other games. It's just Sega fucked themselves with the Saturn. Yeah. We're going to release it three months early. Yay. It's like, yeah. we don't have any games done for it. It's like, oh. Oops. Oops. Herp or derp. Mm. Herp, derp, derp. Do you remember the Uma, the, um, Numa Numa song? Yes. <laughs> I had that on my iPod. <gasps> Me too. And then, um, didn't Rihanna, like, do, like, a remix of it? I don't know. I think she, I'll play it later. I, think I don't know what Ri Ri does. <laughs> Numa, 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 yeah. Lyra is touching me in appropriate places. <laughs> yeah, what else happened? I was just about to say something. The new NES that Nintendo announced. Oh, the baby one? The, the miniature baby, baby one? one? Fuck yeah, I'm so excited so for everyone's that. Everyone's making oh, the so make. Cute. Well, like, there's the fake Sega Genesis. I have yeah. one of those, and that's great. Because it has, like, built in games, and then you can actually plug in things. Yeah. But Nintendo is officially licensing one. That is HDMI out and has all the good games that you could buy another controller for, it and the controller is only like ten dollars. It feels exactly the same. That's so cool! I'm so excited for that. I can't wait to buy that. And that's gonna be my life. Um, and rapidly slow. That's a good way to spend your life. Yep. I mean, I already have a complete NES in the box that could hook up at any moment, but I can't hook it up to my giant TV because the stupid jacks on thing? the back. What? Did you ever order them or no? No. Why? Really right? I've never had 20 spare dollars. I mean, I've had 20 spare dollars for so long now. But you use them for like... I need to buy burritos. No, you don't. And Halo 5 Guardians, the limited edition. Did you get that? Yeah. 
It was a two hundred fifty dollar box. When it first oh, you got it for out. fifty. Yeah, I bought it for fifty. I'm like, yep, I'm gonna buy this. And now I need to find a place to stick the statue, even Do though I don't have my other Halo statues. You need to buy the connection with your PIC money, Leroy. <laughs> how much is how much extra is a dollar? Eighty five cents. What? Your PIC money. It's like sixty five cents. <laughs> yeah, use that as a save it. Keep mm-hmm. being a PIC. A PIC. Yeah, it's they like, say PIC. It's the same as Sunday pay. Extra sixty five cents an hour. That's not too bad. Yep. Four weeks, I'll have it. <laughs> the extra sixty five cents an hour. Four weeks, I'll have twenty dollars. Oh, four weeks. Okay. Oh wait, no, I get to be PIC more than once a week. Do you like being a PIC? Because on Sunday you get like four. Do you wear like the red vest or no? No, right. No, that's for like real PIC manager people. Um, there's a lot of people at the front of my here that are not PICs that wear them. Mm. Ooh, technology on the phone. It's my bill. Bill? <laughs> Do you want to pay The T-Mobile bill? Yeah. Yep. I'll just pay with my T-Mobile. <laughs> just pay with my Apple Watch. <laughs> hey, Bill. Apple Pay. Oh, uh, just Apple Pay. I don't have Apple Pay. <laughs> I don't have Apple Pay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have money. <laughs> I'm a broke college student. <laughs> yep. I did the worst thing ever. Provide notifications off for Twitter, and it's so annoying. Oh yeah, it's the worst. Yeah. I used to have it. Like I just had it for like certain things. It would text me, and I got tired of it and turned it off. And I don't know how to turn it back on. I think I might have blocked the number in my phone. What number? Four zero four zero four. For Twitter? Yep. Why would you get them as text messages? That's so annoying. <laughs> I get them as notifications. Yeah. Well, I hate the notifications. They pop up so much. The other day when I was at work, uh, my phone kept going off, and I was so pissed. I was like, "What's going on? Is somebody calling me?" Yeah. Blah blah blah. And then I realized that. Do you have Twitter? Do you don't have the phone connection? Do you? What? The 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 the. Four oh four oh four. Yeah. Oh. Because you off. used to be able to like talk to Siri, say text four oh four oh four. And what did that do? That's like it would tweet for you if you texted that oh, that's number. That's cool. So you can also just tell Siri to text random people in your phone without opening the thing. Siri, text mom. What do you want to say to mom? I love you. Ready to send it? Okay, I'll send it. So you need a need to unlock your phone. You can just text everyone in that phone. That's amazing. By the way, I said she loves me more. I don't think I got through that, but she just loves me more. Okay. We need to talk about anything else? Oh, I think that's it for this week. I mean, PewDiePie is a terrible sellout. Did what you see all the articles? No, what happened? Well, uh, Warner Brothers was paying people to, like, say positive things about Shadow of Mordor. Mm-hmm. And PewDiePie was on them? This was back in 2014. Yeah. And that was before he had to, like, disclose things on the internet. Yeah. So, Warner Brothers finally settled that suit... So every website was reporting about it. And it's like, PewDiePie and terrible people, like, don't disclose it. And then PewDiePie was like one of the only YouTubers that disclosed it. But everyone was saying that he didn't disclose it. What does that mean? Like, you know how like in the end of the video, or beginning of videos, it's like, this video is sponsored by Loot Crate. Uh, and, um, PewDiePie was the only one who didn't say that this was sponsored by... No, PewDiePie put it in the description. This oh. was advertised. This was paid for, paid promotion by Warner Brothers. Yeah. And he was like the only one that did it, unlike all the other terrible people that didn't. So why is he getting all the backlash then? Because everyone likes to put his name as clickbait in their titles. Oh, okay, that makes sense, <laughs> yeah. Very clickbaitable person. We should put him out. <laughs> Tied up. Yep. Fuck PewDiePie. That's what Drama Alert does. Every drama little alert. thing that's not related oh. to PewDiePie. Gotta bring PewDiePie into it. Drama Alert. I don't like any of the drama pages on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I don't follow any of them. I don't care enough, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, I just watch it to have fun. Yep. We need shitty drama on YouTube. No, you don't. Shut up. This is not reality <laughs> TV. <laughs> there was FoozyTube. That makes like fake prank channel, fake pranks. I heard about him today. Yeah, and he did a fake drama video. And then everyone that reported on it, he's like, you "Fucking reported on it, you fucking idiots. We all need drama. Be creative." And everyone that reported on it was like, "Yeah, this is clearly a fake thing." Yeah. And then he called them all out. It's like I even said it was fake. <laughs> I heard he's really hated. 
Yeah. I mean, he's a cool dude. That's what they were saying about him. Yeah. And then, like, he's being an asshole about Jack, this whole thing. Jack Foams Jack and Holmes. Rob Dyke were going on today on Twitter. Well, everyone's... He tried comparing himself to, like, um, Muhammad Ali and a bunch of other people. Oh, yeah. And then they were just going in on him. Because <laughs> people were like, how does it feel to be mo- the most hated person on YouTube? <laughs> and he could compare himself to them. And, like, that's, that's, that's the only reason why I know about him. Because today, like, I saw that on Twitter. I was like, ooh, damn. I love Jack's and Films. Jack's Films made a video called Tube News. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, like, fake drama. <laughs> it's so great. It's like, it's, too, too, it's Tube News. Tube News. <laughs> It was about dudes on YouTube. So. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and it's like he's just sitting there, like eating popcorn. It's like, gay. Okay. Heard you have drama. <laughs> <laughs> How every drama channel yeah. should be. Drama channels are so dumb. Mm-hmm. But everyone loves them. Need What's all the that drama. Drama is the best. What's the voice for? It's my little kid YouTuber oh, okay. voice. Need to watch it. I hate Keemstar. He's all right. <laughs> I think the only like you like not YouTuber, but I guess like social media person I really hate is that um one from Facebook, Soflo. Soflo. <laughs> That's something I don't like. Yeah, Soflo's an idiot. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I think that's it for this episode, right? Yeah, I don't have anything else. I think I'm done talking for today. I want to go and just cuddle back with you. Mm-hmm. You go poop. Not in your pants. Mm, daddy <laughs> pooping my pants. Yeah. Alright. Need to go get my car and pizza. Yeah. Alright, well, thank you guys for talking to, up to us today. Talking Yay! with us, listening to us. You know you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. SoundCloud, Twitter is in the link in the description. There's no one commenting in Twitch right now, so I don't have to answer any viewer questions this week. I know. She reacted <laughs> like last week and the week before that. Did you watch this new digital trailer? Nope. <laughs> they were don't be me. Why is it me? Alright, well thank you guys for watching. Yep. Bye. Bye.